such a great buzz around here at Randley Crescent as we gear ourselves up for the big occasion. This goes back a long, long way for breweries. I mean, very few people know this is South Africa's oldest running sports sponsorship. I mean, this goes back to the 50s sometime. Correct. Um, SAB has been involved with um, KZN Rugby since 1958. Yeah. So the sponsorship goes back a long time. So there's always has been an association with SAB and in this case, Castle Log at the currently, yeah. What we must never forget, it is about the club rugby. You know, that's the strength and the backbone of um, provincial rugby and obviously of the likes of the Sharks in this case. So to have everyone here today, it's great to see the guys here and I just hope it's going to be a great match. Do you know what you're going to get from Toti? It's going to be heart and soul. They're going to leave it all out in the field there. Uh, they've got the wind starting behind them, which is going to be a factor. There's no doubt about it whatsoever. On paper, collegians are stronger, but Toti never forget 2014. And that's a turnover once again by Toti. And they're busting out from their own 22. Well, it looks like Toti are determined to run this at every opportunity. They've hardly put the ball on the boot. Mkhize steps then gives it back to his fullback and Corsi, who's found some space up on the right-hand touchline. Pops it outside to Mkhize again. Mkhize again pops it outside. Ball inside. It's a bit scrappy there. They should have held on to it. Dylan Marcus shouting for the ball. They made a bit of a mess of it, but Marcus has got it eventually and fires it out. Calvin sacks the man with the ball, but he goes to ground and sets it up. Marcus once again looks right. This time they kick the ball through, but it's a speculative kick at best. Landed up against the upright. Neatly taken in the end by Chad Fisher, and he bunts that out into touch. The midfield up and pick and go there from the, what looks like the captain, Kevin Buck. Oh, over the ball, over the ball there from, from Collegians. Reasonable strike from Diacha, and it's straight through the middle. First points of the game have gone the way of a Mumsum Toti. Yaku Diacha's right boot giving them the lead. The idea of that number eight picks and goes. Oh, the short ball picked up by Buerta. Diacha with the clearance. It's not a bad one off his right foot. Chase deep, and Corsi picks it up. And Corsi with the goose step. With a switch, brilliant switch with Mkize. Mkize gives a ball, that's a great pass to Shane Ball. Shane Ball at the step inside, found a bit of space. Steps one, tackled by the captain Buck, sets the ball up. The wind is coming straight across him. Sort of into over his left shoulder. And he's pushed it, Dazzy, it's over! <laughs> it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant kick. It looked like it was fading away initially, and then it sort of Curled back right at the death, and he's given Collegians their first points of this final. I think there's genuine frustration in this Collegian side. The culture of these teams is very different. You know, Toti, they will get it out and slug it out no matter what game they play. Collegians are always one of the glamour clubs, and there's a good Collegian scrum. But the ball safely back on the Toti side. Van der Boerte taking it up. Remember, Boerte is just at home, and they've earned the penalty here with the wind behind them. They're tapping and going. Blake Beatty is asking them to come back and take it in the same way. Here you are kicking from inside your own half in the Castle Murray Cup final. This one, if it goes over, will be talked about in the car parks of Toadie. No, he's pulled it way, way left, unfortunately. He's won it for them, Marcus. Campbell. Campbell with a step and go. He's tackled well by the captain. Van Leeuwen gives the ball wide. Finding some air. It's the captain who gives the ball to him. Corsi, that's a great offload. Here goes ball on down the wing. The little grubber through. Can he regather? He's done that. But it looks like it's gone forward from Bolt. The, counter the counter from Hecho. First half. The ball goes in from McDonald. Right shoulder there from Toti. McDonald. Oh, great inside ball there for Van Sale. But he's tackled well. Oh, they got a man down. They got a man down. And it, it looks like it was a tackle for it without the ball. A couple steps. Good strike, and it's over. So Toti, first points in the second half, going to a 6-3 lead. Uh, and I think having to dig deep and just try and maintain where they are, let, being, let alone being able to assert themselves, certainly seems to have rattled the men in black and red. Blake Beatty's giving the penalty the way of the Durban Collegians. Does come, in, come, come out eventually the way of the, uh, the Collegian side. They're looking for gaps in the opportunities. Calvin Sachs is the man going through. He's 10 metres out. He gets dragged down. They're looking for a quick ball here. Ball goes through the hands of Dylan Marcus. Can they find their way? They're five metres out. Could this be the first try of the Castle Murray Cup final 2016? Great attacking opportunity. Stefan Hartman waiting for it. And Blake Beattie's awarded the penalty five metres out. Campbell's kick is a good one. And, and that... Brings Collegians level 6-0. Got to get out of there. 
BT's going to put his arm out. Put his arm out for a penalty there. It was Duncan Campbell, the quick ball, quickly taken back. He's not held. He can carry on going. And they got advantage here for not being 10 meters. Pick and go there. Ball to ground here for Toti. Much cleaner ball for them. Buck. Another advantage. Takes the ball in. Sets it up again. Carl Marks not rolling away. But a pick and go there. It's going to be John John Vilsnach goes over for the score. Straight up Fat Man's Alley as we called earlier. The second row forward. Really stretching his legs and going over for the try. He took that beautifully. Bang, and it's a seven-pointer. Toti in there, 22 here, right up against the touchline. Oh, no, Burt has knocked it. He's knocked it on again. That's the second one we've seen from him today. It was not a bad pass from McDonald. I think he's just trying to, he's just looked up, trying to put it on the toe a bit too quickly, and he's knocked it on. Mostert gets himself, gets him a good hit there on the, the loose head side. They've had good ball at scrum time, McDonald. Buerta again. But he's done well to keep it. But he's had to take the ball into contact after he, he just fumbled it a little bit. It's in the air. It's in the air, but they managed to get it to ground. And it's going to be a scrum to Collegians. There's another arm in there. That's going to be a yellow card. Is into this game. Having said that, though, it is still a very tightly contested affair. One score and uh, swings again. So uh, no one getting away from each other too quickly here. Very kickable Toti being awarded to the Durban Collegian side by ref break Vliti. And there you have it. Fair strike from Campbell. And he's missed another one. That is huge for Collegians. He's missed another one. A raw smile from the fly half as he grabs his gum guard out of his sock. Taken in there. That's the captain, Andrew Holland. Takes the ball in. Reese Edwards. Gives it to Campbell. And Campbell drops it on the toe. Is, is that good enough? It's bouncing around in the corner. It's still in play. It's picked up there by the number 22, Tyron Brand, who's been bundled into touch. Bundled into touch by Hartman and the replacement outside back. Jasper Genus. The, oh, he's throwing the ball away, I think. So it's a penalty to Collegians. Looks like a tap and go. Giving it off to Van Leeuwen. Reese Edwards. Another short ball. He's over! Francois Kleinhans, industrious today with ball in hand, has managed to pierce this coaching defense for the first time. And he goes over under the stick, which is even more important for the Collegians boys, giving Duncan Campbell a fairly straightforward conversion and getting them right back in the game. Ill discipline on both sides, and more importantly, Collegians have managed to score a five pointer, potentially seven pointer, a seven pointer with 14 men on the field. Ball does come back, setting up for the drop, possibly. Remember, this is the long brew of LaRue Fonsale, the left boot of LaRue Fonsale. It's whizzing over, hits the left hand upright, and it's just short, bounces back. My word, knock on in the process. That could have been a fairy tale turnaround. Final eighth of this Castle Murray Cup final. It's, uh, it's going to be hammer and tongs from both teams. Uh, the crowd starting to really get into it. Everything building. It's, uh, it's going to be a great game over these last 10 minutes as everyone goes hell for leather for this trophy. History by getting them in the lead and potentially giving them an opportunity to win this game. It's a long kick. It must be about 50 meters on the angle. And he's going to... He's really going to have to give this a good hoof, I think. Although the wind seems to be gusting still, but not as strongly as it was earlier. As Campbell lines this one up from the left. It's a reasonable strike. It looks like he's pulled it. He's pulled it wide. He's pulled it wide as Higo decides to have a crack from behind his own line. It's a great run from the fullback. See you later, Shane Ball. He sets the ball up. Ball's on the deck there. Scrum off, digging in there. Ball goes to Buerta. Buerta out to Diago. He kicks it well across the field. Finds some, finds some good ground, a good bounce. And Toti are back in the, the Collegians half. Reese ready to feed. Ball goes to Klutti in the middle. With two minutes to go, they've got a mall going here. 
Collegians have managed to stop it. They're going sideways. Buck with the ball at the back. They're going. They're starting to go forward now. Pop up to McDonald. McDonald with the, the step, but he's wrapped up well by Campbell. Puts the ball on the ground. Picked up by Boer to the fly half. Takes it in. Sets it up again. That's a penalty. Not rolling away from Collegians. I think about 10 meters, 12 meters from the 22. This is a massive kick. Crowd's hushed. It's a brilliant strike. Oh, but it's faded away to the left. We've still got a game on our hands, folks. Fonsell struck that beautifully, but it just cut slightly to the left. And we're going to have extra time, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go into extra time in this 2016 Castle Murray Cup final. And it's won by Toti once again on the ground. Mostad with a pick and go. Mostad with a brilliant. He's given the ball to the try scorer, Vilsnach. Taken down. McDonald. To the captain. Gives a short ball there to Ryan. Now he's knocked it on. He's knocked it on. So Collegians have the ball. No. Toti, wanted, Toti managed to dive on it on the ground. But Blake Beattie calls him back for the knock. Taken in there by Chad Fisher. Chad Fisher goes to ground. Kleinans all over the ball. Wins it. Retief. Retief's been good today. On, Takes the ball in. Sets it up. Toti trying to spoil it on the ground. Reese Edwards and Corsi. Out the back door. That's the captain Holland. Holland's got himself on the outside. Finds the ball slack. He's over. Sacks is over for the first try in extra time. Brilliant play from Kalitian to manage to finally pierce the outside gap of the Toti defense. Reese Edwards and Corsi. And Corsi with a little chip and chase. He's found some ground. How's the bounce of the ball? He, he's regathered. Oh, he's just dropped it. He's just dropped it cold. He goes cleaned up for Toti. Ball on the deck there for the men from the south coast. Penalty to Toti. Else short there. Diaga looks to put it into the corner as Fisher. Ch oh, Berta chases. Berta nearly managed to get that one back. Put in coming from Etienne Rees. They're going to need quick ball, clean ball, and then butcher it. It goes to the number four ball. They make a real pig's ear of it, and they've conceded possession to Durban Collegians. Running it out there outside of their own half, and this could be the runaway try. It's Andrew Holland, the captain. Oh, just can't get it into hands. Francois Kleinance is there to try and tidy it up. Kleinance is there. Kleinance is over the line. Blake Beatty has put his hands up, and Kleinance bags his second of the final. And that's surely good night, Nurse for Toti. The players haven't really looked after him off the tee. He's turned and run and he's nailed it. The confidence seems to be absolutely oozing out of him. For Toti, and he's got the ball. Oh, and he's chucked the ball straight to Jasper Genus. It's picked up by Crossoff and Sale, and they've got it off the park. And that is it. SA Home Loan, Sturman Collegians are your 2016 Castle Murray Cup champions.